A teenage girl has pleaded guilty to stabbing a 16 year old to death back in August. That according to the girl's mother who watched a court proceeding remotely Monday morning. The murder it happened outside of the McDonald's there on U Street and court records say that the fight that led up to her death started over dipping sauce. Our Mara Carbone sat down with the victim's mother tonight. Joy Lagan, the mother of Naima, tells me the last two days had been extremely difficult. Now she has mixed feelings about the plea, but she says that the outcome of all of this doesn't feel like justice for her daughter. It's the dimples for me. Every day, Joy Lagan finds a way to remember her daughter, Naima. My brother and I both have Naima's ashes in a small cremation um, bracelet that we both wear, so I keep her close. But she wishes she didn't have to, and that her 16 year old was still here. It just didn't feel fair. And that's the feeling Joy had like Monday no as she watched another teenager admit to killing Naima, taking a plea deal for manslaughter that at most could send the teen away until she's 21. It feels like a punch in the gut. And Naima was fatally stabbed outside this McDonald's on 14th Street in August. Court records show Naima was with a group of friends. They stopped to eat when Joy says the defendant and another girl started fighting over sweet and sour sauce, a fact that Joy Joy says has sensationalized her daughter's death. I don't want her death politicized and I don't want her death minimized to a packet of sweet and sour sauce. Naima was not instigating a fight. She was breaking up a fight. And that's when Joy says video shown in court showed the defendant stab Naima. She and her family wanted to see the case go to trial and feel the potential punishment isn't fitting. These young people know that even if they commit a crime or do something, they're not going to spend anything past their 21st birthday. Naima's uncle would like to see the laws change. While the family waits for that to happen, they'll continue to remember Naima for who she was. She was a life of the party, had a great sense of humor. And the sentencing for that teenager is set for January 3rd. Reporting in downtown, I'm Marielle Carbone, DC News Now.